Hi A6, for today's maths, uh, so we, so far we've looked at multiplying decimals by single digits in our head and we've done a written method for that and we've done the same for dividing, so we've done uh, division mentally and then division with a written method. Now today I want us to go back to multiplying decimals um, and a written method but this time we're going to be multiplying by a two digit whole number. So as we work through that hopefully we can gain, draw on that understanding that we had from last week. Now, first of all, we're going to start off with a little multiplying starter. Yesterday, I did actually make a mistake in this starter. I wonder how many of you spotted it. If you did, then let me know. So pause the video and have a go at these. So here are the answers for the first two. 46 times 4 is 184, and 32 times 6 is 192. Now 24 times 13, I'm going to model it for you here. So we need to write them on top of each other in the correct place value. Then we start off with 3 times by 4, which gives us 12, and we carry the 10. Then we do um, 3 times 2, which is actually 3 times 20, which is 60, add the 1, which gives us 70. Then underneath, we're going to add our 0. So remember, we're multiplying by a multiple of 10, so we can put our placeholder in and then think about it as 1. So 1 times 4, which well, actually 10 times 4 is 40. Um, 1 times 2 is 2, or 10 times 20 is 200, add them together and the answer is 312. The next thing I want us to do, and something we should also be well practised at, is times our decimals by 10, 100 and 1000. So to start off we've got two decimals, 0 0.8 and 0 0.71, and I want you to times both of them, so 0 0.8 times it by 10, 100 and 1000, then the same thing, so 0 0.71 times 10, 100 and 1000. Remember, you've got your place value grid to help you. Let's go through this together. I'm starting off with 0 0.8. Remember, to multiply by 10, we move all our digits one place to the left. So I started off with 8 tenths. I'm making it 10 times bigger. So I'm going to end up, my decimal point is here, it doesn't move, my 8 tenths to here. I could put 0 if I wanted, or it's just 8 holes. So times by 10 is 8. Now to times by 100, I can start back here and move it two places to the left. Or I can go for my previous answer, because I've already moved it one, and move it one more place to the left. So times by 10 is 8, times it by 10 again, so times it by 100, my 8 is going to end up in the tens column. We know that 8 times 10 is 80. So I need to put in my placeholder. Again, the decimal doesn't move, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything because I haven't got anything else to add to it. So I could add a decimal zero, zero, zero if I wanted to. So times by 100 equals 80. And then times by 1,000, again, we can times it by 10 again. Or we could start back here and move it three places to the left. So times by 10, times by 100, my eight tens, 10 lots of those, turn it to 800. So again, we need to make sure we're adding our decimals in. 800. Now let's have a look at our second decimal, which was 0 0.71. So let's put that back on the board. Rub these out. Well done if you got those correct. So 0 0.71. So again, I've got no units, 7 tenths and 1 hundredth. So to times it by 10, we move all our digits one place to the left. So 7 tenths turns into 7 units. Decimal point, my 1 hundredth. Well, 10 groups of those takes me to 1 tenth. So I've multiplied by 10, 7.1. To just do the same as before, I can move each one. So once I've times it by 10, make it 10 times bigger to get 100, or start back here. So my 7 ones turns into 7 tenths. My 1 tenth turns into 1 unit. Again, decimal doesn't matter. So times in by 100, not by 7, 1 times 100 is 71. And then my last one, times by 10 again, 7 tens turns to 7 hundredths, 1 ten turns into 100, and then we must add our placeholder in there. So 0 0.71 times by 1000, 710. Well done if you got those. And I want us to apply that knowledge of multiplying by 10 to multiplying by multiples of 10. So now I've got 0 0.4 multiplied by 20. Now, I know to get 20, I need to do 10 times by 2. So I can apply that to this. I can turn this calculation into 0 0.4 times by 10 
times by 2, because I know 10 times 2 gives me 20. Or the other way around, 0 0.4 times by 2 and then times by 10. We know that because of the commutative law, it's exactly the same any way around that we do this. So let's try this method. 0 0.4 times 10, we can do nice and easily. 4 tenths, 10 times bigger is 4 holes. And then 4 holes times by 2 gives me 8. Same way around, 0 0.4 times 2, so 4 tenths times 2 gives me 8 tenths. 8 tenths times by 10 gives me 8 holes. Okay, so I want you to pause the video and have a go at this next one using this method. So this one I made a little bit trickier because rather than 4 tenths, you have 3 hundredths and I wanted you to multiply by 30. So first of all, let's think about how to get the 30. We can times by 10 and then by 3. So 0 0.03 times by 10, then times by 3. Or we could do it the other way around. So 0 0.03 times by 3 and then make it 10 times bigger. We should get exactly the same answer. So let's do the first one. 0 0.03, so 3 hundredths times by 10. 3 hundredths times by 10 gives me 0 0.3. So here's this answer, 0 0.3. Then let's times it by 3. So I've got 3 tenths, 3 lots of 3 tenths gives me 9 tenths. So 0 0.9. Same as this way around. So 0 0.03 times 3. So I've got 3 lots of 3 hundredths. So that gives me 9 hundredths, 0 0.09. And then I need to times it by 10, so 9 hundredths times by 10 gives me 9 tenths, 0 0.9. So when you're multiplying a decimal by a multiple of 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, any of those, I want you to think about this method. So times it by 10, 100, we could apply this to times it by 300. So we could do 0 0.03 times 300. Well, we could do 0 0.03 times 100 and then times it by 3. Okay, it's a nice, simple method and we could almost do it in our head with these numbers. This time we're going to put all of that together to multiply our decimal by a two-digit whole number. So we've got 3.1 multiplied by 22. Now, just as before, there's going to be two methods, so I'll work through these two now with you, and the next time I want you to pause and have a go on your own. So, first of all, we can turn this into a whole number. So we could turn 3.1 into a whole number, so I would need to turn, multiply this by 10. So 3.1 multiplied by 10 gives me 31. So my new calculation would be 31 times by 22. Now we practiced this right at the start of the video, but remember, whatever your answer is, you need to adjust it and divide it by 10. So let's do this. 31 times by 22. So we start off and we're going to do this calculation here. Let's change colour. So we are doing two lots of 31. Two times one is two. Two times three or 30 is 60. Then I'm changing colour again because we're multiplying by a multiple of 10. So we're now doing 20 times 31. So I put my zero in, so we're multiplying my multiple of 10. 2 times 1, or 20 times 1 is 20, so it's going in my tens column. And then 20 times 30, 2 times 3 is 6, or 600. Over here, add them together, 2 add 0, 60 add 20, and then 600. But remember, that isn't our final answer, because we adjusted 3.1, we made it 10 times bigger. So my answer, I need to make 10 times smaller. So rather than going to the left, we need to go to the right. So I started off with 600, making it 10 times smaller, that's going to end up with 6 tens. So 68.2, because all of my digits shift over 1. So that would give us 68.2. Now there's another way of doing this. We can do this method, but with a decimal, and that's what I'm going to show you now. So option one is to turn them both into whole numbers, and option two is to do it as a decimal. So let's look. 3.1, let's put it in our place value, 3.1 
multiplied by 22. Now I'm going to keep my 22s in the place value and I'm also going to add in my decimal here and my decimal here because it doesn't move. Okay? Now, first of all, just like before, we'll start off with 2 multiplied 3.1. So first of all, 2 times 1 tenth. Two lots of one tenth gives us two tenths. So right underneath, same as we normally would. Then two holes times three holes gives us six holes. So it goes in our units. I'm changing colour again because I'm still multiplying by a multiple of 10. I'm now multiplying by 20. I'm doing 20 times 3.1. Just like before, I'm going to add in my decimal point first. And just like before, I'm going to add in my placeholder because everything's going to be 10 times bigger because it's a multiple of 10. So now let's think, 2 or 20 times by 1 tenth, well, it's two holes, it's going to go here, we can just think about it as 2, 2 times 1 is 2, and because I've got my placeholder, it's already sorted for me. 2 times by 3, or 20 times by 3, gives us 60, so it's here my place value, and then we add them together, and my decimal point in, 2 tenths, 8 holes, and six tens. So 68.2 is the same answer that I get. Okay, so two methods. First option, and it doesn't matter which one you prefer, first option is adjust the calculation, so make your decimal into a whole number, but make sure you note how many times bigger you've made it, so how many times it by 10 or 100, because then you need to do the same to your answer, you need to divide your answer by 10 or 100. Or we can do this method of multiplication, but you just need to make sure you put your decimals in and your placeholder when you're doing if you're, it's a two digit number. Okay? So pause the video and have a go at this next calculation. It doesn't matter which method you have a go at. Maybe try both and see which one you prefer. So again, you had two options. The first option was to do 42 times 36, so make it 10 times bigger, and then divide your answer by 10. Or I'm going to model doing this as a decimal in the column method. So first, we'll make sure it's in the correct place value. And then we need to do, so six holes times two tenths, well that's 12 tenths, so two in the tenths column, and we exchange the one. Six times by four is 24, add the one hole is 25, so we put that in the correct columns. Next, we're multiplying by a multiple of 10, so we add our zero, our placeholder, and the decimal point. We do 30 times by 2 tenths, giving us 6 holes. 30 times by 4 gives us 120, so the 1 or the 12 goes in there. And then add them together, and the answer you should have got for both methods is 151.2. Well done if you got that. There's going to be a combination of those questions on today's task on Purple Mash. So I'd really recommend doing the written calculations on a piece of paper before you submit your answers on Purple Mash. Some will be multiplying by 10, you can do that, draw a place value grid or you can do it in your head. Some will be multiplying by a multiple of 10, so think about it, times in it by 10 and then by um, you know, a 3 or 2. And then sub the next one will be multiplying by 2 digit whole number. So again, think about either adjusting your answer, making it 10 times bigger than 10 times smaller, or doing it in that column method. Either way, I don't mind. But good luck, and we will talk about it on Monday. Um, we'll be on the call tomorrow morning if you've got any questions. Good luck.